Welcome to the Harper Tech Academy. Today we're actually going to have a look at the party system or the Kitchen Brigade organisation. We're going to look at the history, we're going to look at um, how this has revolutionised the way we actually interact in a commercial kitchen and it is key understanding if you're going to work in a commercial kitchen. So let's go. This is one of those mixes that is very, very important for you working in hospitality as you will be going into work placement. So in this mix, you'll learn about the um, Kitchen Brigade history, who came up with it, how it was organized. We're then going to actually look at the modern Kitchen Brigade and how that actually relates to uh, kitchens right now. And then we're going to look at different kitchen roles and responsibilities within those. In essence, Kitchen Brigade is an organisational system um, for all chefs, ranking them, putting them in different sections to bring the food together. Um, it was devised by, uh, it's called the King of Chefs, George Auguste Escoffier, and every chef who's gone through their apprenticeship knows that Escoffier was known for defining French cuisine in the 18th century. He worked in the army, had wartime experience. He fought in the Franco-Prussian War. And at that point in the 18th century, culinary world lacked structure. So what he did was he invented the brigade system, used his army experience. And to this day, that classic system, the, in essence, has not changed in the last two, 250 years, which is quite amazing considering food has moved on so much since. The classic kitchen brigade system that was actually devised by Escoffier was a lot more complicated than what it is in the modern day right now. For this course, you only need to know uh, the modern kitchen brigade, but major elements of the original system still are here today. So at the top of the tree there, you have the executive chef. Um, then uh, this is based more on a large hotel uh, large hotels can have up to four different sous chefs. Um, this is the key to the system is at the chef de partie level, Escoffier broke it down tasks and workflows into different sections and actually brought that all together. Um, there's cold larder and a chef de partie in cold larder. Cold larder doing salads, any um, small preparations, appetizers are done in the cold larder section. The Saucier uh, section generally uh, is all of the um, sauces, the stocks, anything that's needed for the main courses or um, entrees. And the Saucier generally is one of the um, more experienced chefs in the kitchen. The grill section, uh, they butcher all of the meat and actually cook off the um, meat on the barbecues. Patissier which is a uh, still a word we use today. They do all the cakes, the desserts, the breads, that kind of thing. Then seafood, all the preparation of seafood, the grilling for entree and main is actually done in this section. And one that's very important is the relief chef for those times when the chefs are off sick. Now the, the rank below, and this rank is um, when you finish your apprenticeship, you become a commie chef. So they would have a number of commie chefs in each section, depending on the size and how many functions or how many restaurants they had. And then finally, you'd have the uh, little baby chef down there, the apprentice, um, who's learning from those different chefs. So generally, anyone that um, jumps above sous chef into executive chef have actually worked through all of these sections, and that is a very important one. So let's look at roles and responsibility. So let's start at the top. I actually have one of the most famous French chefs from the 80s and the 90s, Anton Mosman. So let's look at the responsibilities of an executive chef. So the general one is management of the overall kitchen operation. They do the planning, organizing, um, hiring, firing of staff, uh, leading different things within hotels and restaurants, controlling food costs, making sure that the menu items go up consistently, um, building capacity of their staff and also motivating them in those busy periods. 
They generally make sure that there is tasty, nutritious and well presented foods which meets the needs of the customers, ensuring food safety, the cleanliness of kitchen operations um, and generally making sure that the food is on time for all customers. So who's seen Ratatouille? Yes, this is actually one of those characters from Ratatouille, the sous chef. And you would have heard of these terms, but this comes directly from that um, brigade system. It's second in charge, so they will basically be in charge when the chef's not there. They tend to run the day-to-day -day operations, making sure staff arrive on time and things are going out when they should, uh, ensuring quality. Uh, they generally do a lot of staff training at different levels. They report directly back to the executive chef and they are generally the people who will receive and check orders and prices. Um, and a lot of the sous chefs will work under executive chefs and then move up later. Chef de partie, and yes, it's French if that surprises you, they are the middle managers in any kitchen brigade. They are the people right in the middle. They look after commies and the apprentices and they also report up to the sous chef and the executive chef. So the key responsibilities of a chef de party is they will actually look after a section and a section could be colada, patissier, it could be grill. Um, they manage the chefs below them, uh, again, ensuring quality within their section and actually making sure they're meeting the uh, costing and the food cost and also the recipes, making sure there's consistency. Again, staff training and actually managing food wastage. As mentioned before, the Kami chef is the rank that you come out of when you finish your apprenticeship. Uh, responsibilities uh, for food preparation, for the service of food, they take the orders from the chef de parties and the sous chefs as they come around. Um, like any chef, maintaining food quality and the cleanliness of their work areas and their section. It's key in any trade that we have apprentices there to actually learn the trade and to follow on and then um, generations of chefs come through with those skills. So apprentice chef generally working in different sections and as a, an apprentice chef in a five star hotel, you will get moved around the section so that you get the experience. They're there to gain practical training in the kitchen um, food preparation, cleaning as directed, uh, and here in New South Wales in Australia, they attend one day's college a week to actually get their qualification, which is a Cert, four, uh, cert 3 sorry, in um, commercial cookery. Now, I know in class I probably told you a few stories about how crucial the kitchen hand is in the kitchen, that if they are not doing their job, there, the support for um, uh, cleaning plates and cutlery and pans. And if it doesn't come back fast enough, the whole service can grind to a halt very quickly. And I've had that experience a few times. They are responsible also for removing garbage, maintaining the environmental hygiene of the kitchen. Um, and in a lot of cases, they will actually do a bit of basic food preparation, but a key role in the kitchen and a good starter if you move, want to move into an apprenticeship as a chef. Escoffia was a visionary in a lot of ways and the kitchen brigade system as it is now has so many of those basic elements and he was a visionary in his time. Um, that organisation of the kitchen is crucial to make sure workflows happen and um, you will see that when you go out for work placement. Thanks for watching. See you next time at the Harper Tech Academy.